In this video, we are going to talk about microwave ovens. Microwave ovens became popular in 1970s. They lifted household convenience to a new level. A conventional oven heat food very slowly from the outside in, but a microwave oven uses tiny high-powered radio waves to cook food more evenly. A microwave oven cooks roughly six times faster than a conventional oven. Microwave ovens also save energy because you can cook immediately without waiting for the oven to heat up to a high temperature first. Let us take a closer look at how they work. Most foods we consume contain over 70% water by weight. Water molecules are polar, that is, the electric charge on molecules are not symmetric. The alignment and charges on the atoms are such that hydrogen side of the molecule has a positive charge and oxygen side has a negative charge. Now for a microwave oscillating at 2.5 billion hertz, the charge changes sign nearly 5 billion times a second. When these radiations interact with a water molecule, it causes the molecule to flip back and forth 5 billion times a second. This vigorous movement of the water molecule raises the temperature of water and heat the surrounding food. Now let us discuss that how these microwaves are produced inside a microwave oven. Microwave radiation is produced by a device called the magnetron which is inside the microwave oven. It consists of four major components, an anode block, a cathode, a pair of permanent magnets and an antenna. The anode of a magnetron is fabricated into a cylindrical solid copper block. There are 8 to 20 cylindrical holes around its circumference. These are called resonant cavities. Each cavity works as a parallel resonant circuit. The cathode is at the center of the anode and it is constructed of a highly emissive material. The antenna is positioned so that its one end goes into the resonant cavity and the other end transfers the microwaves to the cooking chamber. These two permanent magnets provides a constant magnetic field which is perpendicular to the plane of the anode block. The cathode is connected to the negative terminal of the supply and anode is connected to the positive terminal of the supply. The production of microwave begins when electrons move from cathode to anode. But as these electrons move, they create their own magnetic field. And this magnetic field interacts with the applied magnetic field. Let us use Fleming's left hand rule. My first finger is in the direction of applied magnetic field, which is perpendicular to the plane of anode block. And my second finger is in the direction of conventional current. As the electrons are moving from cathode to anode, so positive charge is moving from anode to cathode. So the thumb indicate that these electrons while going from cathode to anode will be deflected towards the right. If the strength of magnetic field is increased, the path of electrons will have a sharper bend. Likewise, if the velocity of electrons is increased, these electrons will have a sharper bend. If there is no magnetic field, then all the electrons emitted from cathode will move to the anode and there will be a large plate current. The values of anode voltage and magnetic field strength are adjusted such that the electrons just fail to reach the anode in their circular path. At this stage, these electrons produce oscillations at microwave frequencies. These values of anode voltage and magnetic field strength are called cut-off magnetic field and cut-off voltages. When electrons are continuously emitted all around the cathode, they collectively move clockwise around the cathode filament, forming an electron cloud. When an electron approaches an anode vein, a positive charge is induced within the vein, as electrons in the vein are repelled by the approaching electrons. Meanwhile, a negative charge is induced in the neighboring anode vein due to the accumulation of these repelled electrons. The negatively charged veins then repel the electrons rotating within the electron cloud. The effect of this is that the electron cloud forms into a pinwheel shape. As the cloud rotates, the anode veins closest to the spokes of the pinwheel has an induced positive charge and the <coughs> neighboring veins has an induced negative charge. As the cloud rotates, the positive and negative charges in the veins repeatedly oscillates. <coughs> These induced charges are equivalent to a capacitor and this alternating current is equivalent to an inductor. So this resonant cavity is actually equivalent to a parallel LC circuit. 
the oscillations of charges creates an alternating current within the resonant cavity of the anode block this current is carried by the antenna and released as microwave radiations the final step in a microwave oven is to release the radiations inside the cooking chamber when radiations are emitted by the antenna they are released inside a chamber called the wave guide when they exits the wave guide they are often reflected by a rotating fan blade to evenly distribute the radiation throughout the cooking chamber once entering the chamber the radiation is reflected by the chamber walls until it is absorbed by the food